The young Democrats of Massachusetts watched at 9.22 p.m. as the Massachusetts Nurses Association conceded with a no vote on question one. Question one proved to be a point of confusion for voters across the state, with some questioning whether it was an appropriate ballot question in the first place. What the ballot question is doing is it's putting in front of voters who are not nurses, not in healthcare, um, you know, who aren't really informed to make decisions on uh, this kind of a complex uh, labor issue. Representatives for Yes on Safe Patient Limits attributed the confusion to hospital executive funded ads. The other side, though, has spent a lot of money, and this is the thing that I want people to know most of all. They've spent, I think the official count now is around $23 million. Despite losing the ballot measure, the problem of understaffed nurses still exists in the state, and voters are optimistic that there are other ways to solve the problem. You know, I will say that I, I'm hopeful that this, this ballot question fails, but I'm not, uh, I'm hopeful that this conversation keeps going. I guess I don't know what happens, but I'm much more optimistic than I was, you know, four months ago when it felt like nobody was listening. This is never going to be over tonight, whether we win or whether we lose. So we're going to be keeping fighting either way to hold these hospitals accountable. We're at Club Cafe, where the Young Democrats of Massachusetts had their election party tonight. After a 20-year push from the MNA, question one finally appeared on the ballot. And despite its loss, Massachusetts voters don't expect it to go away anytime soon. I'm Crystal Boyajan for BU News Service.